Drop your weapons. Step away from my brother. Link. How much do you love this brother of yours? Why don't you step down from that truck? Stop, 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 stop. No, it's not going down like this, okay? Just stop. I got way too many questions for my friend here. Step back. I went to prison for killing a guy in a bar fight. I don't even want to get into it, okay? He starts talking, yeah, to my girl. I tell him to beat it. He pulls a knife, and I see red. One second later, I'm holding his bloody knife, and it's his body on the ground. You're not dead, boss. One second. Please don't do this. You will lose. Listen to your friend. I'm talking to you, Ramal. I told you, step down from that truck. Pick up your weapons. I've got one second till that one second happens. Go to hell. Go. 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 He's my brother. He's my brother. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. I can't believe this. Back at the prison. Why? Why did you say? I had to deny you. You were, you were filming me. You can't know. Who can know? I can't know. I'm getting out. Who? I'll explain everything later. Just... I escaped from Fox River Penitentiary because I was sentenced to death for a crime I did not commit. I did not murder Terrence Stedman. He committed suicide last night in the Cutback Motel, 30 miles outside from his home in Blackfoot, Montana. He killed himself out of fear. Fear of the people who have been hiding him for the past three years. The same people who want my brother dead. They don't want you to know who they are, but know this. They've stolen billions of dollars and murdered dozens of innocent people. And yet they plaster our faces on the news and tell you to be afraid. They are a group of multinationals, corporate interests. Together they're known as the company. They are working with the highest levels of government, including the President of the United States. Damage control All told, immediately. They've stolen billions of dollars. Before this hits page one. It's already airing. Start a wildfire in Florida! Find a storage unit full of Arabs, I do not care! As long as it's not about Lincoln Burroughs! And they operate with impunity. Go! Under the cover of the Secret Service. The very people meant to protect and serve. Much blame has been placed on another innocent person. Dr. Sarah Tancredi. Do we know how long the videotape lasts? 26 minutes, beginning to end. It's all online. I know I can't ask you for another chance. I can only hope that by now, you've found your safe haven. I took Start a, a transcript. I need every word. To help others. And I put you in a place that's every doctor's nightmare. I wish I could do things differently. Call Montana. Have them send an agent to talk to the cameraman. I want to know what he saw, what he heard, what they were wearing, anything he can give us. People murdered by government yeah. operatives. One man, Special Agent Alexander Mahone, is responsible for multiple deaths. He murdered not only John Abruzzi and David Polskis, but also the last fugitive he was assigned to chase, a man named Oscar Shales, a man who escaped from prison two years ago, who remains one of this country's most wanted, despite the fact he will never be found. Guys nuts. I'll do whatever it takes to make the deaths look official, like they happen in the line of duty. And another innocent person, Dr. Sarah Tancredi. Sarah, if you're listening, I know I can't ask you for another chance. I only hope by now you've found your safe haven. I took advantage of you, of your commitment to help others, and put you in a place that's every doctor's nightmare. Sarah, if you're listening, I know I can't ask you for another chance. I only hope by now you've found your safe haven. 
I took advantage of you, of your commitment to help others, and put you in a place that's every doctor's nightmare. Of your commitment to help others, and put you in a place that's every doctor's nightmare. I've considered many ways to apologize, but I must arrive at one. Drop him, or I blow his head clean off. You're gonna wanna put that down. You're gonna wanna put that down. Lower your weapons. Come on, get over there. Come on, old man. The best minds in the world designed this security system and you almost beat it. Frustration must be killing you. You blew it. Actually, there's only one missing piece of the puzzle. And you just brought it to me. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Your Scylla card. Now. Not what you expected. What I expected of a man like you is a system where you've got all the advantage. Looks like you're a few cards short. five cards. Frustration must be killing you. Or keys. And this. This is Scylla. No choice but to drop all charges against the 16 year old. Burroughs is scheduled to be released from the Clifton Detention Center in Kingman, Arizona, where he's currently being held tomorrow morning. Keys to a car. Where are they? Just hold on, yeah. okay? You can't do this, Link. We are five minutes away in there. We've been five minutes for four hours. Just give me some time. Be patient. You're gonna give a damn about the money. I'm doing what's necessary. You're afraid to fail. You're afraid this big plan of yours ain't gonna work out. You wanna get caught, prove you can pull this thing off, be my guest. LJ's out there. I'm gonna get him. We have come 1,500 miles across country. We have made it this far. And I guess this is where we part ways. You still come with me? Oh, okay. I can do this. And if you can't, then we still meet up. Exactly where we planned. Full chai booze. Full chai. Full chai. Elder is gonna be with me. You remember how to get there? I might forget. Thursday night, six o'clock. It's our last shot. If we're, uh, um, if we do this right, we're gone forever. A lot of ground to cover in three days. A lot of ground. All right. Yeah. They'll be gunning for you. Right. But I got good in me, Michael. 
I got good in me. It'd just be nice if you were here to help me find him. you pulled, you're completely worthless to me now. You've been worthless to me all your life. I know you and Michael think I was a terrible mother. Couldn't agree with you more. I warned Aldo. I told him I was not cut out for it. It is not in my nature! used to call me his Lady Macbeth. I knew there was a reason I hated Shakespeare. You hated it because you couldn't understand it. And you couldn't understand it because... <gasps> your real mother was as dumb as a day-old donut. You asked me how I could just sit and watch my son go into the chair. Yes. <laughs> Really. You're not my son. Michael already knows. That must be why it's so easy for him to play with your life. I guess we have that in common. Now, go find my son. 